Do you want top of the line performance, but you don't want to spend a couple thousand dollars? This is a gaming PC build featuring some really awesome price to performance. And today's video is sponsored by APNX and their new C1 case. This is the Chroma Flare version that they sent over. And it's a really unique design with a awesome color scheme to it that has like color shifting. We'll talk more about that later. They're a new case company out there looking to bring some really awesome options for PC builders out there, whether you're building high-end PCs or relatively budget computers. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is talk about this CPU and graphics card combo, which I think is a very hidden gym and then from there we're going to build this pc and talk more about this case so to kick things off we have the ryzen 7 7700 this is an 8 core 16 thread processor and it came in an interesting little package we got it off amazon but it was a third party seller so they probably got these bin chips and yes it did come with the stock cooler but we're not going to be using it because we got this right here this is a VTrue V360, which is a cooler that we know very well. We actually buy the 240s by the pallet, believe it or not. And so we just bought this 360 off Amazon. They're one of the best bang for buck coolers. And we've never really had a problem with their pump before. So that's really awesome. For the motherboard, we have an MSI Pro X670P Wi-Fi. So this is just a really good bang for buck board because you get four RAM slots, you get two eight pins so you could support like Ryzen 9 easily. You have some nice VRM covers and just overall really good build quality, even has like a sort of built-in IO shield is it actually built in we're learning on the fly here guys is it built in well i think it's it's sort of oh yeah it's one of these okay see it's sort of built it has a cover it has a cover so uh, okay. it's in between <laughs> but yeah so it does have the latest pro protocol of uh wi-fi bluetooth and they're automatically ddr5 if you're ever wondering yeah the am5 is only ddr5 so you don't have to make that decision and speaking of ddr5 we got this team group tc cree 8 and this is 32 gigs at 6000 megahertz it's 2 by 16 so it's dual channel and uh yeah, it's perforated it has eye airflow <laughs> it's pretty cool and for this we have a Western Digital one terabyte. This is the SN770 Black, and this is gonna perform really well. Look at these read and write speeds, very fast. And of course, it is a brand new build, and it does have DDR5, so we had to go with that Gen 4 support. Now what we have right here is the star of this PC build. This is the RX 6900 XT, which is a graphics card a lot of people aren't talking about right now in the used market, because you can get it for under $500. And this card with 16 gigs of VRM is very capable of 4K gaming at medium high settings, but it does compare very well to something like a 4070 Ti, meaning that it is about 10 FPS worse, but you're saving over $200 buying this on the used market. And there are a lot of sellers selling these in really good condition. I don't believe this is a new version, but the seller put it in the right box. So hopefully it is the right graphics card. You know what, we'll go ahead and open it up. We're continuing this theme of opening up our products here to show you guys what we got. But yeah, 6900 XT. I know some people don't like to buy AMD cards, but if you're willing to dive into the used market, or you're already looking at AMD cards to begin with. This is a really good deal right now. Tons of VRAM for those who love their VRAM. This looks like it's in pretty good condition. We'll see if it needs yeah, any it sort almost, of cleaning up. This is like new, it seems like. Yeah, it looks very much like sealed. new. Sealed. Yeah, there's a little bit of dust on it, but I'll be honest with you, very nice looking card, big card. And it's gonna fit very nicely in our case. And there are some little scuffs on the logos and stuff. We'll have to mess with that a little bit. Maybe it just has a peel on it, but two eight pin power, very nice graphics card for the build. I'm very excited to see how it pairs with this 77. Now to power this build, we have a Sigotep 750 watt, 80 plus gold power supply. This has kind of been our go-to, well, value power supply for these higher end builds because it's 750 watts, comes with the ATX 3.0 connector if you do upgrade to a graphics card that does use it. And uh, yeah, 80 plus gold, we use them a lot. They're very reliable, we haven't had any issues and they're a very good price for these gaming PC builds. Now we're gonna make this build look a little bit nicer with some sleeve cables from Asia Horse. I think I just went with all black here, mainly because when we get to that case over there, I didn't wanna take away from the chroma flare design design with a bunch of RGB on the inside. So we're gonna go and open this up and see what we're working with. Yeah, just black sleeve cables from Major Horse. You really don't need these if you wanna save some money. But when we're talking builds in the thousand plus range, I always like getting these because it makes the build just look that much better. Now this is the C1 from APNX. Now we have specifically the Chroma Flare version, which if Jessica can try to get on camera, it does shift colors based on the angle you look at it. It's basically the paint job has between like a, a blue and purple color scheme, hence Chroma Flare. You don't really see case manufacturers doing this kind of paint job on a case, so it's really cool to see. But if this color isn't to your liking, you can get a black and white version as well. I believe this one is a little bit more expensive, but this case does come with four pre-installed RGB fans. I believe those are 140s up front as well. So three 140s, one 120 in the back. It does have the extra mounting on the side as well, as you can tell, similar to some other cases on the market where you can get some extra intake just to add more fans. So you could do up to with six, 
three, six, nine, ten. 10. So you can do up to 10 fans in this build for very high airflow. And overall, it's a very premium design. I really like the build quality of this case. APNX strives themselves on bringing a super clean, minimal look to their cases. And the C1 delivers that with super smooth edges, a toolless side panel design, and top quality craftsmanship. Along with those powerful yet sleek 30 millimeter thick performance ARGB fans, this case is absolutely outstanding. For those looking to build a PC in a uniquely beautiful case, the APNX C1, especially in the Chroma Flare variant, should be on your short list. And it is designed for high-end builds in mind, so very excited to put this thing together, see how it all fits, and then test it in the latest titles to see, is that 6900 XT and 7700 combo going to work very well together? And how well does this case cool our components? Let's put it together and find out. All right, guys, we are playing some ranked Halo Infinite, and we are currently max up with V. We're playing 1440p at ultra settings. Ultra so settings. It don't get better than this, guys. 100 plus FPS, baby. Oh my goodness. It no problems. So good. It's so Ooh. fun for a change playing on these higher end computers that uh, look really good as that well. Is this build overall the 6900 XT? Great 1440p card. You can stretch into 4K as well, but we're gonna stick with 1440p because we really think that's like the optimal resolution for PC gaming now, without cheap these high refresh rate displays are. Um, but this config works really well and performs really well. I will say though, compared to the 4070 Ti, I don't know what the power draw is of the 4070 Ti, but this thing is pulling almost 300 watts. Oh, oh you stopped the spanker. I wasn't spanked today, baby. What are you doing up here? Look at him, just <laughs> grenading himself like a little goober. Oh god, okay, I'm not, I'm not peeking that guy. He's clearly better. Yeah, they're down to one and my teammates are cracked. Oh, oh they're flanking you. Oh, oh! Yes, teammate. Yes! Yeah, buddy! I'm letting him know who boss is. Yo. See, I'm an assist kind of guy. I'm a wingman. Look at these guys. They're just hiding in corners, like waiting for They're us. Converting though. Why is this right here in the open? Ah, the it stops you if you get oh, damaged. Oh, that's rough. That's stupid. Oh, that's, that's stupid. You know what? Bad game mode. Uh -huh. I'm gonna say bad game mode, but the PC bad ain't mode. bad. PC is really good. 1440p, ultra quality. Let's see what else it can do. All right, guys, we are in Fortnite, OG Fortnite, and we're at uh, DirectX 12, 1440p. Pretty much on like medium high, but we are using TSR to help us out a little bit and FPS is looking good and good God, look at all this. Retail row, <laughs> haven't been there in a while. Performance is really good. I don't know with this update that they pushed some well, better performance or maybe they dialed things back a little bit, but so far it's running really good on this PC, DX12. You never know with Fortnite, even on higher end computers, sometimes it can well run like crap, but we're gonna go ahead and drop in on no build and see how this works, but it looks good. I like having a no build in this because I, I was just worried, you know, coming into this game that we'll get all the sweaty builders and it just would not be a good time, but we have no build. All the and goblins. the old shotgun. Ah, oh, I love it. This it feels, feels right. A boogie bomb. I, I, I will say every single thing you pick up, you get to go, ah, uh, uh, I remember these I things. remember this. Oh my God, we can break objects. Ah, uh, ah, uh, wow. The good old days. Just like the good old days. Fortnite reimagined. But yeah, we're getting 200 plus FPS, high refresh rate Fortnite, 1440p, no issues. And there are a lot of gunshots going on in here. Hello? Oh, hey. Oh, <laughs> he's dancing, ha <laughs> ha. I was getting shot by someone else. No! 
Ah! That was Yo, such a bad decision, but it was worth it. Imagine shotgun you have A chug jug? I haven't That's seen one of those in huge. forever. Dang, look at that. I don't think they were that big before. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That was a real play. That was the 6'9 six six nine nine assassin. assassin. Oh, it has like the same sounds too. This is... Oh! Did anyone come here with me? Am I the only ones? What are you holding? Oh, look at this. I can be Spider-Man. Yeah, Roar Tiger. Yeah, Roar. Oh, I almost ran out of ammo just doing that. Jesus. Four! Ah! They're not even turning to look at me! This guy, this guy just will not stop shooting. Okay, A ball. A -ball. <laughs> oh! This is a real player, dude. They, they need you dead. Oh, oh, say, oh. I need to go to the semifinals now. Oh, what is that what character? Is that, costume? that is an interesting costume. But hey, you know what? Ooh. Fortnite running absolutely great. Cool to see the Fortnite OG uh, going because it's pretty fun to play. What we're gonna go ahead and do is test this thing in some other demanding titles and see uh, what it can do. But yeah, so far, great 1440p machine. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking our epic color shifting PC, and it did absolutely amazing. This thing is able to play at 1440, and honestly, it really could play 4K in some games if you wanted to as well. A big shout out again to APNX for sponsoring this PC build. This case is really awesome. The C1, you can get it in this chroma shift color scheme, or you can go black or white if you prefer to keep it that way. But yeah, very nice case, really good airflow with all the pre-installed fans, and we do highly recommend it. So check the links down below if you want to build this gaming PC. They will be affiliate links, they will help us out. Let's what you think of this PC case down below and what you think of that 6900 XT because we think it's a really good buy for these pretty much high-end gaming PCs you can do for under $2,000. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Go bug. So this PC right here will be for sale at PCBros.tech and it'll come with a one year parts and labor warranty. I don't know why I'm putting up two. It's one. One year warranty. One of but each. <laughs> just one, one of each. You get one of each. But if you just go ToastyBros2 on checkout, you can save 2% on this PC or any other PC that is ready to ship at PCBros.tech and stay tuned for our Black Friday sales. They're going to be awesome. See you guys later. Goodbye.